How's it going? Just completed week four of marathon training. Uh, finished up here on Sunday, just with some light like, stretching and yoga to get me prepared for next week. Um, it was a pretty busy week for me. I had a very heavy workload the second half of the week. And so I wasn't able to get in as many miles as I've had the first few weeks of training, but I do feel like it was still productive. I still got some good runs in. Um, I feel like naturally that's just kind of how this marathon training is going to go. Some weeks are going to be super great and others are just going to be a little bit, you have to take a step back, which in the grand scheme of things is probably a good thing. It's probably good to have some rest in between as long as you're staying on trajectory, as long as you're still trying to hit your goals. Um, so overall, pretty happy about it. On Monday, I did a light, easy four mile run. On Tuesday, I did my nine mile long run where I ate my first goo. Wednesday, I did my sprint interval workout and I did a lower leg, uh, a lower body weights workout. And then Thursday, I did two miles and zone two cardio. And to my pleasant surprise, I don't know if it was just that day, but I was able to do those two miles at about, I think it was like 11 and a half minute pace, which the first time I had to run a mile in zone two, it was like 13 and a half to be able to stay under a heart rate of 145. So maybe it was just that day or maybe I'm improving, but we'll see. Um, and then Friday, I ended the week with um, another five easy miles. Saturday, I worked all day um, and it was a long day. I was outside all day long. So when I got home, I wasn't feeling it very much, um, but I did decide to put my running clothes on and just go on a mile and a half distressor run. Um, I feel like sometimes, some days when you just have super busy work days or you have a lot of stressful things going on, um, it doesn't have to be about getting the workout in. It could just be going out and just taking a breather for 10, 15 minutes and just kind of uh, emptying your mind. And so I'm calling that run a distressor run. And I'm just gonna label that from here on out because I'm sure I'll have a lot of them uh, with the work schedule I have these next few weeks. All right, I wanted to leave you guys with one last thought I kind of had this week, um, especially as we're approaching week five and finishing up week four of marathon training. January officially ended and I looked at my Nike Run Club app, which is what I'm using to track my miles. And I noticed I ran over a hundred miles in January. And I kind of laughed because I'm like, that's probably, I kind of probably jumped the gun a little bit running that much miles in January, especially with January being my first month of marathon training. And I still have February, March, April, and May to train. And so I was kind of laughing at that. And I think the reason why I ran so many miles is just because I was so enthusiastic so excited, had a lot of adrenaline signing up for this marathon and deciding to run one. And it just got me going. And I was like super duper going for it the first few weeks. But now that those weeks have kind of gone by and I realized what a long ways we have and how many weeks we have and how grueling marathon training is, some of that excitement and enthusiasm has kind of died out. I kind of noticed midweek um, on some of my runs, I'm just like, I'm just not enjoying this as much as I was like a couple weeks ago. Um, and I think that's a pretty common thing. I think a lot of people in marathon training kind of get to that midpoint or get to that, get to these points often where it's like, why are we doing this? It's a grueling process. It just feels like a checklist. Um, and last week I kind of talked about like the physical aspect of marathon training, how you need to fuel, your, fuel yourself and how you need to get well rested. But I'm kind of thinking like, how do you take care of the, you know, the mental side of things? Like how do you still find desire to run when you're doing it so much? and find that motivation and that enthusiasm and how do you not kill that passion um which sometimes marathon training or any grueling running training process can do and um actually on my run yesterday on my little de-stressor run that was only 15 minutes long um it just reminded me of why i love running in the first place and there's just something about getting to put on some running clothes and going out the door um and starting that run and you get to forget about everything going on in your personal life and you just get to run and you get to, your heart beats faster, you start breathing heavier, but there's nothing else to be concerned about other than the run that you're on. Um, and something I've noticed is whether you just go on like a 10 minute run or an hour long run, you just always feel so much better after the fact, no matter how bad of a day you've had at work, no matter what's going on in your personal life, there's just something about running that just cleared your mind and allowed you to come back to your home, or come back to wherever you need to go, um, a lot more at ease and a lot more peaceful. Um, and especially yesterday, going from like having to work a long day on Saturday and coming home and it already being six o'clock, I could have easily just, you know, sat down and ate dinner with my, with my husband, but I knew I wanted to just get out and go run a mile and a half. And even just that 15 minutes um, made me feel so much better. And that reminded me of why I love doing it in the first place. I honestly, I don't love staring at my watch and 
looking at the heart rate, the pace, the mileage. Um, I don't love staring and seeing how much miles I'm getting a week or how much miles I'm getting in a month. I truly love it because of how running has that ability to help you let go of things going on and to recalibrate and help you reset your mind um, before returning back to normal life. And that's why I started doing it and that's why I continue to do it six years later. So my goal this week is to work on the mental aspect on top of the physical aspect. I still need to feel myself, I still need to stay rested, but I also need to keep reminding myself of why I love running in the first place. And whenever I do, it does make these running, my runs so much more enjoyable. Um, so anyways, that's enough talking from me for the week. Again, I'm super excited for this week. I've got some good workouts planned um, and I've kind of already scheduled things in my mind. So I'm hoping that things will go to plan um, until next time. Again, thanks for everybody who's reaching out and who's contributing to my Instagram. Um, it's really cool to be a part of a running community and I hope to be able to continue that. I'll see you guys next time.